Very few remember Ban Ban's kindergarten, an educational facility designed to care for only the best and brightest children around. To many, it never existed, except in the very depths of their subconscious, a passing experience they might have seen in an advertisement on TV, perhaps an urban legend heard on the playground. They may have thought it was some kind of strange dream, but to others, it was a nightmare. Oh, where am I? Hello? Is anybody there? Who, who are you? What are you? Let me out of here! I didn't do anything, I swear! Shh! You've seen too much, my boy. You have no choice but to become one of us. Yes, something far more sinister lurked inside the colorful walls. Secrets began to leak out, you see. Secrets no. about things people had seen behind the facade of childlike wonder. Something was hiding. Something no one ever managed to find. Or so he thought. <laughs> you answered the ad I put out. Yes, reluctantly. Once I weeded through the fakers and conspiracy theorists, you were all that was left. So quickly, I need you to tell me exactly what you remember about Bam Bam's kindergarten. Why on earth would you want to hear about that terrible place? Because I attended, or so I believe, Ban Ban's kindergarten myself, along with my twin brother. I remember it fondly. All my friends were there, and I'd play with toys until their batteries died out. But my brother, on the other hand, was always scared there. He said there were terrifying monsters behind every corner that he'd have to fight. Eventually, our parents pulled us out without any explanation. Later, they lied to us, in fact, saying we always went to a normal kindergarten, that the garden of Ban Ban never existed. Over time, I forgot about the whole thing, but Josh never did. He saw something there, and it haunted him. Then why aren't you asking Josh? Because he went missing a few weeks ago, and I know where he went. I'm going back to that place to find him. But in order to do so, I need information. So tell me, what do you remember? I remember plenty, only in bits and pieces, but plenty. And there were times I could have sworn it was just a nightmare. But it felt so real. I just remember that place was strange, down to its appearance. I can still see those strange murals of those creepy characters. One always freaked me out. That one-eyed jellyfish, Stinger Flynn, I think. Total nightmare fuel. It was hard to make friends at Ban Ban's kindergarten. It was a pretty exclusive place, only for the brightest kids in the area. You were pretty lucky if you got to go to Ban Ban's, everyone thought. But something about it was so strange. The characters, that bird thing, the Apala bird, it was so weird. But we were just little kids, what did we know? We were just having fun. Then slowly, one by one, all the kids started dropping out. Their parents pulled them and refused to say why. I was too little to understand. Maybe they all moved. Maybe it just got too expensive. I didn't think too much of it, but something felt off. What does that mean? Well, I sure never found out. I was a pretty rowdy kid. I honestly don't know how we even got into Ban Ban's kindergarten in the first place, when it's supposed to be really exclusive. I spent a lot of time in that naughty corner, and I might have deserved it looking back. I was lucky I didn't get kicked out altogether. <laughs> but one day, that jerk in charge. Hey, that's mine! Give it back! You'll get it back when you start behaving yourself, young man. But- No buts. He took my favorite toy. At that point, I'd had it with that stupid kindergarten. I knew I had to do something about it. So I broke in later that night to get it back. I couldn't get into the principal's office where I knew he was keeping it, but there had to be a way to get in somehow, right? For some reason, I had a feeling that Opala bird would help me find something. And it did. The wall opened up right in front of me. I found my way into this creepy back room. God, that thing lived in my nightmares forever. I can still see it. 
I had that dream for years. In my dream, I would walk down this long, dark back hallway, but it seemed to go on forever. And the farther down I walked, the murals became twisted and evil looking. I'll never forget those awful faces. So every time I'd take off running and running down the seemingly endless hallway until suddenly I'd reach this huge metal door and I'd peek inside. I'd see a man transforming into this big green monster. It almost looked like Jumbo Josh, but that's how I knew it was a nightmare, right? There's no way that could actually happen. But when I turned to leave, I saw something following me. It was that freaking bird. I forgot all about getting my toy back. I knew I needed to get out of there. And she chased me. She almost got me too. I told my parents what I saw, but I just got grounded for sneaking in. But it was worth it. Even today, I dream that I ended up back in that hallway. Every night, no matter how far I ran, I could never get out of that hallway. I never saw the back rooms again, and when others looked, they didn't find anything. But I know there was something down there. It may not have been what I was looking for, but I definitely found something. Soon after that, I was finally kicked out of Ban Ban's kindergarten. I ended up in public school, grew up perfectly normal, but I always wondered what would happen if I went back. Come on, come on. There was one dream though, a night where I did find a way out of the hallway and I got stuck on some sort of lift freight elevator thing. Who's there? And something would come from below. What was it? This will sound crazy, but I swear it was one of the characters, like I saw earlier. Oh my God. It was Jumbo Josh, and he would pick me up and shake me and scream at me until I woke up. But one night, something changed. I fought back and was able to escape him, but I got hurt. When I woke up that morning, I was so sore. And then I noticed, to this day, I can't remember whether it was a dream or reality. And all I could think was, if it was a dream, I'm so lucky I woke up. Well, thank you so much for your time. I think I've got everything I need to get started. Josh, no! 